In this video, you're going to learn how to save a Gmail message as a PDF file. Gmail by itself doesn't have a feature to download an email as a PDF, so we use the print feature to create the PDF file. While viewing a message, click the print all icon. From the print dialog, you'll see a destination option. This may default list off a printer you have, such as mine. If you open up that drop down, you'll see an option that says save as PDF. If I click save as PDF, I'll have options for changing the pages I want to print, if I want to print it as portrait or landscape, but then under more settings, you'll find some other options such as paper size, margin, scale, that may not matter to you as much, but the two you want to take a note of is the headers and footers. If I remove this header and footer, it will remove the date and time and the subject line at the very top. The background graphics, I suggest keeping enabled. That maintains a lot of the graphics and the colors that you see on this email. Uh, once you have all your settings, click save. Then you'll be prompted where to save the file. So this will save this as a PDF file on your computer. By default, the file name matches the subject line. So I'm going to click on save and this will save this in my download folder. Then your message will be saved to your computer as a PDF. Now, the second way to do this requires an extension. A while back, Google Chrome had a feature that allowed you to save to Google Drive. They removed that about a year or so ago, but you can still do that by using the Save to Google Drive Chrome extension. I'll leave a link to this in the description below, but what this does is allows you to save by printing directly to your Google Drive. Two things I'll tell you before you install this. One, make sure it says by Google here. You want to make sure that you're getting something that's secure and that's actually made by Google. The second thing to consider, if you're a teacher or a student, or if you are using a Google account that is tied to an enterprise Google account, you may or may not be allowed to install this extension. So you may need to speak to your system administrator to have him or her allow you to use this extension. Otherwise you won't have this as an option. I already have this installed on my Chrome browser. So from my Gmail account, if I go to print again, under my destination options, I have save to Google Drive. I only have that because I've installed this Chrome extension. If I click save to Google Drive, I have all the same settings I had before, specifically remember the headers, the footers, and the background graphic, and then I click print. After the print dialog goes away, I know that it's been saved to my Google Drive. To get to my Google Drive, I'm going to open up a new tab. Then in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on the app launcher. The app launcher looks kind of like a waffle. And then if I scroll down, I will find the Google Drive icon. Inside of the Google Drive, I'll find the PDF file, the title of which matches the subject line of the email that I just saved. And if I double click on that, I'll have the PDF file of the email. So that's two ways to save an email as a PDF file once your computer, once your Google Drive. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.